Hey guys, welcome to Ending Calls Productions and what I have for you guys today is a video showing you how to change your stock uh, Android uh, interface or theme into a more of an iPhone based or iPhone like experience. Um, so uh, this is my Samsung Galaxy S2, it's running stock uh, TouchWiz um, as you can see. Um, and what I'll be showing you is how to change this into change almost everything in this that looks like uh, more like I, the iPhone. Um, so um, before I get started, I would like to say that um, all the apps you'll be requiring for this are free on the Android Marketplace. You will not be requiring root or anything like that. You won't be requiring to install any custom ROM. It's just some free apps from the Android Marketplace uh, which you will be needing. So you don't have to pay anything. You don't have to install anything special, anything other than the normal apps uh, in case you're uh, wondering. Uh, so first thing what you want to do is change the stock launcher. That we, I'm here running the standard Samsung TouchWiz launcher. Um, it's a standard interface from Samsung. What I want to do is change this to the iPhone uh, launcher so uh, what you, you would want to do is go into the Android marketplace and uh, search for Aspire launcher um, so it's spelled E S P I R E go ahead and search Aspire and the first uh, app there you can see is what we are looking for it's free uh, from the Android marketplace go ahead and install it it's about 4 or 5 MBs not much but it's pretty nice. Um, so wait for it to install, and it's done installing. Hit the home button. It'll give you a list of launchers that you have installed on your phone. Now, by default, if you'd want, you'd want to select your uh, iPhone launcher, which is this launcher here, second one on my list, and it'll change it as you can see uh, to the iPhone light launcher. So you, it just gives you a brief intro but you want to skip that since you don't really need that and here you can see the launcher is changed into a uh, stock uh, iPhone like launcher um, now here there's some cool features of this launcher you can easily uh, scroll up like this from the bottom of the screen it will give you all the running apps here um, for example let's say I launch the browser the browser is open now so I'll hit the home button and once I scroll up it will give me all the multitasking apps here uh, right now I have the browser running so what I want to do is if I want to cancel this hold it down it will give you that iPhone like shaking uh, or wobbly uh, look and you can easily end the app by hitting the minus button on top so this is a cool feature of this browser and also you can make folders for example you would want to st you want to stock uh, say the Real Football 11 with sense clock here. So I hold down Real Football and move it over to uh, this. And the folders, as it, you can see, it is already made, and it's uh, like the folders on the iPhone as well. Uh, that's another cool feature. Now, if you want to edit the settings for the launcher, you can go to Preferences hit after hitting the uh, menu button, and it'll give you a list of settings that you can change. Um, you can obviously like back it up and re restore it you can change the animations if you want you can change um, it gives you a list of uh, some settings that are pretty useful especially the uh, application hide uh, option which allows you to uh, select the application that you don't want it to show on your uh, like launcher so that's pretty useful as well so this is the launcher done that's part one done yet now what you want to do is uh, change your stock keyboard which is uh, the stock Android keyboard that comes built in as you can see uh, with the Samsung device what you want to do is change it to the iPhone like keyboard and for this you want to go into the App Store again and search for iPhone keyboard free so search for iPhone keyboard free and what we're looking for is the first app there go ahead hit it and install it It's a pretty small app and it's free again, so go ahead and open it. Um, it'll give you some details uh, on how to set it up. You'll have to go to settings, lang language, and keyboard and uh, do the settings from there. So I'll go ahead into settings. Um, go ahead into language and keyboard input. And you'd want you have all your keyboards installed here. What you'd want to select is um, 
the iPhone keyboard free which is already checked from here but if it's not checked for you you'd want to check that uh, so next time when you're going into say messages and you want to type a new message you can easily change your keyboard uh, from your Samsung keyboard into the iPhone keyboard free and there you can see that it has an iPhone like keyboard now um, it's pretty nice keyboard um, you can change the settings for this keyboard as well configure input methods um, go into iPhone keyboard free settings um, you can set sound on key press vibrate on key press I'll just turn up all the volume so you can hear the sound it makes um, my volumes are turned down let me go ahead and turn up the volumes so now when you type you can hear that it makes uh, you can also set it to vibrate it makes a sound as of now but it can vibrate as well and the numbers are here in the standard uh, iPhone like layout you can access the numbers by hitting the toggle key here it's a pretty fast and responsive keyboard so it's pretty nice now this is the second part done now the third thing that we'd want to change is uh, the stock browser as you can see it's a stock browser that comes from Samsung now what you want to go ahead and download is um, a browser called Aspire browser um, I'll just show you so here it is here's the app you're looking for Aspire browser it's a free app again go ahead and install it Yeah, now what it does is basically change the interface of your browser from your stock interface and in change it into an iPhone like interface. Uh, it's a pretty fast browser as well, it's not slow in any means. Um, it does a good job of uh, for everyday usage as well. Um, so after it finishes installing, let's go ahead and open it. And here it is, the Aspire browser. Um, now as you can see here, the layout on the URL bar and the, say, I go to Google. Uh, as you can see the the setting bar here as well as the URL bar here resembles so much like a uh, iPhone uh, and here is the back key forward key just like an iPhone here is your multitasking thing it gives you details about it um, and here is some bookmarks um, here are the the settings are which are just like an iPhone like browser so this is how to change your stock browser into an iPhone like browser and I usually remove the browser app from my uh, four icons here and replace it with the Aspire browser so that's done so whenever I want to launch the browser I simply hit this and the browser opens up now what you now what you want to do is change your stock contacts into iPhone like contacts now for this as you can see right now I have the stock Android contracts contacts uh, what you want to do is download an app called uh, go contacts so search go contacts g o go contacts it's a free uh, free app from go dev team go developers team go ahead and install it and it's done installing so once you hit the contacts uh, button it will give you two options to choose as your default contacts application now you want to s select your go contacts as default and it will give you this uh, contacts go contacts uh, layout and as you can see the interface is totally changed now what you can do is go ahead into the themes and it gives you a list of themes which you can download for it what we'd want to do is go ahead and install the iPhone theme from more themes go into the themes tab my themes and more themes select the more themes tab and go ahead and download the iPhone theme and it is also free and open it up 
Okay, just go ahead into the contacts uh, again and go into themes. And here you can see the iPhone theme in my themes and go ahead and select it and say apply. And now once you go into your themes, um, the dialer as you can see has changed into a, an iPhone like dialer, not 100% like an iPhone dialer, but it's pretty close. You can swipe your screen to change between your dialer and your um, your dialer and your contacts easily and it also gives you your groups here, your favorites, your groups, your contacts and your dial pad. So this is what I could do to make it as close as possible.